Okay, so good morning everyone and welcome back in today's uh, discussion again, today's class again. Okay, today we are going to be discuss about the next topic in the same chapter that is called the strategy analysis called the assess risk. So till now what we done, we identify our current state. Then we define the future state. And when we define the future state, the question came Atul, there can be risk as well. So how we can identify the risk in the in our in our journey? OK, so for this, a new topic has been introduced. It's called the assess the risk. OK, so what what as, as, a, as a name simply indicate indicate this thing? OK, it says that the purpose of accessories is to understand the undesirable consequences. Which few are the things which you know. This may happen, this can happen. But rest of the things you don't know that it will be happen or not. So you want to be handle that un undesirable. I mean, you don't want to but it's possible that it OK. During the enter, uh, external or it can be internal or external. On the enterprise during the transition. Two or once in a future state. Ya to abhi ho jai. Ya fir baad mein ho. But chances hai ki ho sakta hai. Okay. So in the assessing risk specifically they include and manage them. If you remember that we done a technique called the risk assessment as well, right? We done a topic called the risk assessment, where we say that we have to find out the risk, we have to be clarify the risk, then we have to mitigate the risk. So something similar they are talking about the here as well. So the risk are analyzed for the possible consequences if risk occur, impact, likelihood, and potential time frame when the risk time occur. Ki you have to be identified that if this thing happen, then what will be the consequences? What is the impact? And what is the percentage? What is the chances? What is the likelihood? What is the possibility? What is the probability that risk will occur? OK, so these things we have to be discussed in the assess risk. Now the next point which says. Let me scroll down. The collection of risk is used as an input selecting or coordinating a change strategy. Means if you want to, if you are doing the risk analysis. Risk collection then maybe that will change your complete strategy as well. That how to build this solution, how to make a change in the model, how to make a change in the automation level. That completely change the strategy as well. So it means when we are defining. The future state. Risk assessment risk is very much important. What is the objective? What is the sorry? What is the input for this? Let's come back to the screenshot. What is the input for the assess risk? Number one, a factors from the outside or the inside. Number two, the requirement which you confirm that it should go. It can be one of the factor. Number three, the designing part. Which you already finalize, you already prioritize requirement you prioritize your business objective and the potential value. These are the inputs and these are the guidelines, your BA approach, your business policy, your change strategy, your current state, your future state, your identify risk, your stakeholder engagement. These are the parameters which help you to assess the risk and after that, you're getting an output. Risk analysis results up And by using this output, you can do these many activities as well. 
कुछ पुराने हम कर चुके हैं कुछ हम कर सकते हैं बिकॉज इफ यू हैव रिस्क असेसमेंट देन यू कैन डू द सोल्यूशन लिमिटेशन एज वेल एंटरप्राइज लिमिटेशन एज वेल ओके सो द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट नंबर वन अनोन रिस्क इज अनोन टू अस नो बडी नोज दैट कोविड बी केम एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी कंप्लीटली चेंज द साइकल but now people are aware about this generally when when the strategy is build up they consider if fire if maybe flood will happen but nobody was knowing or no that is something like covid will be happen then what will they so number one the first element is the unknown uncertainty of the likelihood of it occur okay so that is the first point which we have to be consider under this business analyst collaborate with the stakeholder to assess the risk based on the current understanding future to hai nahi yahan pe aapko current ko dekh ke uska future predict kar sakte hain ki agar aisa hua to aisa hone ke chances ho sakte hain theek hai now if i say sorry even when it is not possible to know the that all will occur as a result of the particular change strategy it is still possible to estimate the impact mujhe pata hai ki covid dobara nahi hoga aisa situation kabhi nahi aayega but still now you have to be you are considering that unknown point in your mind ki agar aisa ho gaya then how to handle that part then the second input value in this the second L important element is that constraint assumption and dependency when i am building a solution on the enterprise level on the product level on the requirement level anything up here i can say these three things i have to be take care constraints assumption and dependency in short if i say you can follow the raid log risk assumption issues and dependencies the raid if you follow you will be able to find that part so this is always consider these things while doing the risk assessment in in the current state or in the future state we say we understand we read one topic called the constraints and the assumptions i as you my people will support me there is a assumption i am doing and maybe that assumption is a highly riskable as well if people did not support me then what will happen the third one says negative impact to the value now this value can be can be anything A risk are expressed as a condition that increases the likelihood or severity of a negative impact of a value. If this risk happen, then maybe my brand value will be go down. Like same example. If 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 you remember that Amazon sales online sale fail in the first point of time. that get a negative negative impact so next time they consider this as a major well, major constraint major parameter in their sale part they enhance the server they enhance the database they enhance the infra and then they come back but while doing the strategy part while doing the current state or the future state thing you have to be consider this very carefully that it can have a negative impact the next one is say the risk tolerance in the risk tolerance we have a three major parameters risk aversion natural or risk seeking risk aversion means an unwillingness to accept much uncertainty aap kuch nahi kar sakte but aapko accept karna padega unwillingness hai ki nahi yaar ab to ho gaya mujhe aisa karna hi padega there may be preference to either avoid a course of action which carries too high a level of risk or to invest more 
कि बस अगर ऐसा हुआ तो मैं इतना पैसा और लगा सकता हूं इसको सही करने के लिए नेचुरल सम लेवल ऑफ रिस्क इज एक्सेप्टेबल प्रोवाइड द कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन डज नॉट रिजल्ट इन द लॉस इवन इफ द रिस्क ठीक है अगर कल मैं गया कहीं और मेरी बाइक खराब हो गई तो आई पुट इट फॉर द रिपेयर ठीक है तो उसमें आपका ये कि अगर नहीं भी गया तो भी अगर मैं गया अगर बाइक नहीं भी खराब तो भी मैं कर दूंगा ये काम आई नो कि बाइक नहीं सही चल रही बट आई आई डू दैट पार्ट रिस्क सीकिंग अलीनेस टू एक्सेप्ट और इवन टेक मोर रिस्क To get a higher return. Simple सी बात है अगर आपको और चाहिए and you are happy to accept the more risk you have to put the more potential value as well. So these three parameters, these three factors, we consider that in which category my organization, my solution is falling at point of time. Okay, then go to the recommendation. Business analyst work is to recommend to the people with a good course of action, with the right course of action. And what they say is the recommendation use, usually fall into the following character categories: pursue the benefit of a change regardless of the risk. कि बहुत कुछ भी रिस्क को बेनिफिट बहुत अच्छा है ना विल गो एट. There is number one point. Pursue the benefit of a change while investing in reducing the risk. कि I want to do this. change because it is reducing my risk capability sorry risk chances not capability risk chances if you want to increase the benefit of a change then you take a risk these these are the recommendation guys if you want to do this thing you have to take a risk now who okay, can i am okay to take the risk so recommendation says as as any recommendation har jagah kaam karti hai it is it is a very big decision big big companies are investing in a in a big ventures by taking the risk ki agar fail bhi hoga to mujhe koi fark nahi padta kyunki mere paas bahut paisa hai let's invest something on this part and try out at least mera kuch to risk kam ho hi jayega zyada nahi to kuch to risk kam ho hi jayega so in this area specifically we discuss about the recommendation things now when you want to evaluate the risk you want to assess the risk you have to follow some guidelines or the principles number one your business analysis approach tell that how to analyze the risk your business policies help to make a decision on that part define the limits with which, which decision must be made ki was we are okay to go for this solution and we are happy to take the 20% of the risk not more than that that is the business policies okay current state description current state description says that when you are when you are evaluating your current state that also give you picture that okay i am able to take a risk here okay your future date your your, fu your future date sorry which is future state i'm saying date is not it's saying um, basically state your future state confirm that are you in the capacity to take risk or not okay and the last identified the risk that what is the starting point for this assessment so that you can evaluate the risk part here then the last one that is called the stakeholder engagement approach how you are involving your stakeholders that is the guideline for you to do the risk assessment now if i come to the techniques part here 
that how to evaluate the technique. Just, just give one minute, guys. Okay, come here now. So techniques are similar. There's no change in the technique. Number one is the brainstorming. When you want to assess your risk, you have to do the brainstorming with the multiple parameters, multiple factors. You can consider business case to capture the risk that if I want to be go for this particular solution, then this is the business case and these are the risk here. You have to define the alternative approach as well. The decision analysis, like decision tree, what we discussed, we can meet it. Document analysis, you can read the previous documentation. You can see the potential risk, constraints, assumption, dependency from the documentation part. Your financial analysis, budgeting constraints, you can conduct the interview from the people to understand that what they think about this, this risk part. Lesson learned. The previous lesson which you learned, you can you can get the details from there. You can understand the facts from there. Mind mapping. The diagram. Risk analysis and management. Identify the risk. Three major parts. Mitigate, emergence and other things. You can do the root cause analysis that why this risk is happening. You can go for the survey and the cautionary. Roll out a survey and at last you can go for the workshop with the people. To do this risk assessment, there is no new technique, so we are not going to be discuss these techniques in the depth because we already discussed discuss that part. So what stakeholders is required? Everybody is required, specifically tester, supplier, sponsor, regulator. These are the means in each and Every tech, each and every step, I can say that SMEs, uh, implementation SMEs, your project major regulators are the main part of the list. And what is the outcome? You will able to find out that how many risks are associated. What is the mitigation strategy? As in a case, if I risk, I will get mitigation techniques. Bhi usme. And then I can work on work on that part. Now tell me any doubt on this topic. Any question? Atul, you said uh, we need to see the unknown factors. So here we have to plan we have to make a plan. That is not our responsibility. No, you, you have to be give your inputs. Input see, then, okay. if, 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 you are, if you are working as a BA on the new product part, then you have to be do. Okay. Okay. As a new key, yes, I yes, I cheese a mesh chalti. A by me product development me home. Who's the key? Wampa risk risk hoga, definitely risk hoga. As a new risk yoga, but I just adding the risk according to my area. Who's the key? Joe techniques, Joe cheese and discuss key. Wo aug level be chalti or sari sari. So, so it depends on what type of BA you are, in which domain you are working. So yesterday, if you notice that if I am working a BA on the org level, organizational change management, then maybe I can go for the interview, maybe I can go for the workshops, maybe I can go for the mind map. Maybe I go for the financial part, but if I am a small BA, I am working in product development, which is BA, which is going on, there will be no work in the financials. Because I know that the budget is already fixed there. It has been discussed there. Business case will not be there. Because I have already sent a business case and sent me to me. That we have to do all these things. So it depends what type of BA you are. 
product BA, domain BA, technology BA, what type of BA you are. If, if you say, if you ask me, I just do the risk assessment with the help of the lesson learned nowadays. Ki boss, humne last requirement mein implement gaya tha, so ye ye risk aaye the mere paas. Ye problems aaye the mere paas. To humne mitigate kaise kiya tha, humne kya kiya? Humne development shuru nahi kiya is paar. We started with the some more discovery. Let's let's do more R and D on that area. Let's do a small kind of POC that we learn from the previous experiences. Something similar we've done, and now we we want don't want to be go for the same situation. So we are we are getting the things from the lesson learned perspective. Clear. Clear. Okay. Hitesh, clear. Yes, sir. Yes, Speaking on mute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now let's go to the next part of this chapter. It's called the define the change strategy. Abhitak, what we did, we analyze our current state. We define the future state. We define the or we have the risk assessment. And now we have a defining the change strategy that how I can implement or develop this alternative approach. Because ultimately goal kya hai mera? Need go fulfill karna. That is, that is my ultimate goal. So what this is, the purpose of defined change strategy is to develop and assess the alternative approach to the change and select the recommended approach. Let's say, I, I ask you guys, hey guys, let's go to the Ladakh. Yaar. We'll three go to the Ladakh. Okay. I said we will go via flight. Suraj says, no, no, Atul. Flight says, what is the benefit? All the scenery and science, scenery and the other things will be finished. Let's go via bike, via road trip. This is an alternative approach. Hitesh says, no, 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 let's go because we three are there. Now who will, who will sit alone in the bike? Let's have a car drive. Now these are the three different alternatives. And we have to be developed or we have to be select a recommended approach. Flight is very expensive. If we have two bikes, who will go alone? Who will sit back? Three bikes, it's very, very expensive. कार ठीक है अपना खाने पीने का सामान सब गाड़ी में रखेंगे पीछे बिस्तर बिस्तर सब रख लेंगे आराम से टेंट वेंट रख लेंगे हो जाएगा सो यू आर सेलेक्टिंग द अप्रोच दैट व्हिच इज द गुड अप्रोच टू अचीव दैट कॉमन गोल व्हाट दे डिफाइन डेवलपिंग अ चेंज स्टेट इज सिंपल व्हेन द करंट स्टेट एंड द फ्यूचर स्टेट इज ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड इंपॉर्टेंट व्हेन यू नो दैट वेयर यू आर and where you want to be go, then you can define the change strategy because you have to be just select the alternatives. So you have to set the, a lot of the alternatives are the right word. You have to be select the right approach here. So change strategy clearly describe the nature of the change in terms of the context of the change. BACC model ka basic. Identify alternative change strategies. That what are the other ways to do that part? Justification that why this is the best approach. Important point. Hai. Investment and resources to fulfill that for the future state. Key stakeholders the change and transition states along the way. So these are the major parameters. I'll not say the parameters, but yes, these are the major terms which you have to be identified that why we need this alternative approach. If you have an alternative, then the change strategy might present it as a part of the business case. But customer ne bola, I need I need a system which is in the domain separation. You said okay. You get the customer ka purana SOW. You you done your R and D. You read the documents. You done the workshops pre, with your with the internal team, external teams. And then you say, boss, domain separation is not the right method to do this thing. We have this 
another approach to do that part. So in this case, we have to make a changes on the SOW as well. That is very important here. Now, what are the inputs in this part? Number one, aapka stakeholder engagement. Kaisa hai? How many times are you involving with the stakeholders so that they can take a decision? Number two, aapka current state. Number three, aapka future state. Or number four, aapka risk job be analyzed. Karke le kya hai? Ye chaaro milke aapka strategy define karte hain. But to do the strategy definition, business sorry, define change strategy, we have to be understand the business senses approach, design options, and the solution recommendation. Gari par jana achha hai ladda. That is that is a good option. But the car should be not a Maruti 800 or Zen. It should be like Bolero or something kind of a Tavera kind of thing. Then it is good to go. So now the solution recommendation has been changed immediately. Nobody is saying that don't go with the car. People are saying okay, go with the car, but the car should not be like a small one. Ma paari pe to uthegi nahi gadi wo. Correct. So we have to do this thing and believe me. We are following this these techniques in our day to day life. Being a consultant, I evaluate the design. I help my technical team to evaluate or go for the solution recommendation. No, no, let's let's not go for the scripting. But let's build a workflow only. Why not we can use the another field which is already existing in the system? And you know that the, these are the very small wins. If you as a consultant able to provide some good input to the technical team, it will enhance, it will build up your confidence as well. Oh, I am able to help something there. Like yesterday, I was discussing one, one problem statement with my technical team. They said, no, yeah, it's going to work through it. They said that when we are having already this, this method in the place, why not we use this field for the same? The only thing is that we have to make this field as a mandatory. Then my deadlift says yes. Right approach. Hard code karne ke wajah ki user ko bolta hai ki he or she need to be enter the details. Then they agree. It it give me a boost up now. Yes, I am also able to participate in the technical discussion. Maybe saw me se ek me, but yes, I am able to do that part. And by using this strategy, multiple outputs we can achieve here. Few we already done, few is upcoming. Because your alternative approach may be validate the requirements, help you to define the solution options, measure the performance, help the analyze performance measures as well. So multiple things are there. Now, what are the elements? Number one, the solution scope is important to understand here. That when I'm defining my change strategy, what type of solution scope I am doing? Do I building something on the capability? Do I building something on the technology change? Do I building something on the business rules? Do I building something on the disease, business decisions? So in which area I'm going to make a change? That is my solution scope. Networks, location, functions, workflows, these things. This is this is an important point. You remember that in the in the future state we see the solution scoping. You have to be defined that what is in scope, what is out scope. Only then you then you you can build up the solution. Then the second point says the second element says the gap analysis. Now, if you want to do the defining the strategy, change strategy, you have to be identify the gap as well. If you ask me, it is something similar we already done in the current state of the future state. Don't know memory he kiya gap identify your scope. In this, we are saying specifically that if I able to identify the gap. Gap can be in the process, in the function, in the line of business, in the structure, in the facility, in the training. Now, if you read this part, I'm sure there's a technique should become called the original modeling. 
it it definitely comes. This is this is my thing. Processes are there, so it the technique may come. Process modeling, process analysis can be one of the area to identify the gaps, to analyze the gap specifically. Okay, so gap analysis identify the difference between the current and the future capabilities. To perform gap analysis, both current state, future state should be defined. Only then you can identify the gap. I am at the X, want to go on the Y, but these are the gaps. My teams are not competent. My team, my uh, my organization don't have that much capability. We are not using that technology. So you have to be identify the gaps here. Then if I scroll down, the third part says the enterprise readiness assessment. Very important point. This means share the four or five other points. Okay, it says when you want to make a change, when you go for the future state you have to be think is your enterprise is ready to do that to observe that to understand that to accept that change or not bhai ab dekho maine aapko bola let's take example instead of you i reach out to you and hitesh and suraj guys business analyst seekho you se kya kab kya baat hai bhai kyun seekhe You are you are my friends. You are, you are we are staying together, guys. Business analyst ka course seekho. But before, if I introduce this change, I need to do the year assessment. कि मैं देखूँ सही कि सूरज का skill set क्या है. उसका assessment करके देखता हूँ उसको कितनी understanding है. Let me do the assessment of the Hitesh as well. So in this manner, they are saying for the enterprise readiness. कि मेरा जो business है. वो कितना रेडी है उस एक्सेप्ट चेंज को एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए वो असेसमेंट मुझे करना है लाइक इफ यू रोल आउट अ सर्वे इफ एनी कंपनी रोल आउट अ सर्वे दैट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नीड गुडीज और पार्टीज पीपल विल रिस्पॉन्ड मैक्सिमम पब्लिक विल रिस्पॉन्ड बट इंस्टेड ऑफ इफ यू सेंडिंग अ सर्वे गाइज वी आर ट्राइंग टू बी री ओपन द ऑफिस हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर हैपी टू कम बैक How many days? The survey percentage or the response percentage is very low. Because people know that if I have sent a survey, they will call me. Your yeah, decision will be done that you have to come to the office. So business analysts analyze the enterprise to assess its capacity to make the change and sustain to the future state. Boy, what do they say? In 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 our Hindi, they say, "Taking a car, meaning taking a car, is very easy." लेकिन उसको रखना बहुत मुश्किल है हाथी लग, हाथी लेना हाथी खरीदना आसान है हाथी पालना मुश्किल होता है क्योंकि ईयरली यू हैव टू पे फॉर द मेंटेनेंस ईयरली यू हैव टू पे फॉर द इंश्योरेंस आप साल भर में चाहे पांच किलोमीटर चलाओ या दस किलोमीटर चलाओ सौ चलाओ डेढ़ सौ चलाओ लेकिन उसका इंश्योरेंस तो उतना ही जाएगा जितनी महंगी गाड़ी उतना महंगा इंश्योरेंस सो इन दिस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया वी नीड टू बी आइडेंटिफाई दैट इज माई एंटरप्राइज इज दैट मच कैपेबल that they can accept this change and they can sustain in the future as well so there is another parameter you have to be see then the change strategy a change strategy is a high level plan of the key activities that will be used to transform the enterprise from the current to the future state ki boss kab main bolunga ki ha i am going into the new state in the future state uske kuch activities honge Let's say I want to change the culture of my office now. अब ये तो नहीं कि रात में सारा काम हो जाएगा नहीं. Let's start building the good meeting rooms. Let's start install some play things: pool, chess, billiards, carrom board, Ludo, some some innovative things. So if employees see this thing, then they will say yes, we are moving to the future state. so in this we are not doing any practical part we are just making it a high level plan ki mujhe kya karna padega by which i can say that i am moving to the future state and what this says the preferred change strategy should be select in the considering jab aap aisa kar rahe hain you have to be see the readiness of the making the change very much important maine ghar renovate karwana hai lekin na meri wife ready hai na mere parents ready hai na mere bachche ready hai 
हो गए क्योंकि रेडीनेस नहीं क्योंकि उनके पास टाइम नहीं है अभी दे डोंट वांट टू दे वांट टू डू दिस थिंग बट नॉट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू हैव टू बी सी द मेजर कॉस्ट एंड द इन्वेस्टमेंट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट योर इन्वेस्टमेंट योर मनी मैटर्स हियर एक्चुअली मनी मैटर्स हियर देन द टाइम लाइन्स टू मेक अ चेंज कितना टाइम लगेगा is this aligning with my business objective or not time for the value part ki roi return of investment kab tak shuru hoga mere paas aana so these are the major points which we need to be consider into the this area and the the last one the next one basically say transition states and the release planning i am am i going to be take a big bang approach or a phase wise approach और स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच कैसे कैसे मैं बोलूंगा कि हाँ मैं फ्यूचर स्टेट पे पहुंच गया इफ आई से दैट लेट्स माय ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर और माय ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू मेक अ कल्चर गुड सबसे पहले ऑफिस को अच्छा बनाते हैं एक ट्रांजिशन हो रहा है देन कैफेटेरिया को अच्छा बनाते हैं सिटिंग्स को अच्छा बनाते हैं देन इंट्रोड्यूस द गुड्स गुडी पार्ट some formal week friday sessions we have been doing to us pure ka ek plan banaya jata hai ki ye 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 points honge ye ye steps honge tab main bolunga ki mera ye transition jo hai future state ka complete ho gaya like like if i want to be develop any new product i make a transition plan guys first designing then development then testing and then production deployment you have a transition states here and then you plan for the dates as well ki isme dates kya kya honge release karne ke liye mere paas now the next parts basically say what are the guidelines required aapka ba approach the previous one solution recommended which you think that what need to be bring it here and finally the design options what you can do to satisfy that part what are the designing options available and to define this part what techniques we follow number 1 if i am defining my change strategy we have to be make sure that i am using the balance score card there should be balance in all those four objective financials or other things there should be balance skill and growth all the things i need to be see that what is the benchmarking to achieve this particular future state like there is a lot of companies i saw in india on the linkedin there is a lot of companies re innovate re innovating their their offices now pehle kabhi jab when i started the journey there was no kind of a bean bag or something now people have a bean bag people uh, offices are putting sliders as well a small jula type se hai monkey chair type se hai just to make a good atmosphere they are putting some benchmark this in yaar us company mein bhi hai google facebook have a lot of things we cannot do this all these things but let's build something similar to us they do the brainstorming that what is the best strategy we can do this part kyunki business ka only one motive should be less costly and more benefit you analyze the business capability techniques you to see the business case business model canvas c so now this technique is not only for the in the current state this can be used in the change strategy as well do when you do some partnerships how you understand you understand the business model canvas your decision analysis your estimates that how much time it will take your financial analysis your focus group your functional decomposition see we are still on the f there's a lot it means there's a lot of techniques are available in this interview lesson learned mind mapping swot so these are the techniques to define the change strategy almost we done earlier this is like swot is important process modeling important organizational modeling important now again it depend what type of ba you are which technique you to follow maybe i for me the process modeling will be helpful because i am just working on a process side 
And what are the stakeholders involved here? Customers, SME, end users, regulators, a lot of people are involving here. See, the lines are the increasing, the stakeholders are increasing because a lot of people are interested in the strategy part. Their inputs are equally important to do this thing. And what are the outcomes I'm getting? I'm getting my change strategy that this is the right or the best approach to go ahead. I'm getting my solution scoping. And done. Any question in this part? I'm, I'm sure that it is very small topic. Why? Because we have done our. All techniques in the previous topics in the previous chapter. Yes, Suraj and Hitesh. No question, sir. Hitesh, all fine, all clear. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Question the next one. Yes. Okay. Let's let's not proceed further because two topics are done. Then we'll start the next topic by by tomorrow. Let me stop the recording and take a quick attendance.